Good afternoon guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you a quick and simple dinner idea. For this dinner we are having roasted veggies, Brussels sprouts and broccoli and we're gonna have a roasted chicken and then we're gonna have some cucumbers on the side and a quick instant box of scalloped potatoes. I hope you enjoy. Give me some feedback in the comments and always remember please like and subscribe. And starting here, this is just the things that I'm gonna season my roasted vegetables with. So we're gonna start with seasoned salt, extra virgin olive oil, rosemary leaves, garlic powder, salt and pepper. And then we're gonna drizzle the top again with that extra virgin olive oil. Uh, just remember that I will have the recipe linked below. So we're gonna start with oiling our cookie sheet with just some extra olive oil cooking spray. And then I'm going to start halving these Brussels sprouts. Um, I am feeding four younger children. The older one doesn't really mind on his size of his veggies, but I do like to cut the smaller ones down so they're easier for the little ones to handle. So here you'll see that I'm just chopping these vegetables in half, some of them in thirds, depending on the size of the Brussels sprout. Does your children like Brussels sprouts? Brussels sprouts are new for my children. I've been able to sneak them in with their broccoli. They absolutely love broccoli. So this was an easy way just to kind of mix in them and season them the same. And they didn't really know the difference and now they love them. So again, let me know in the comments, does your children love Brussels sprouts? What's their favorite vegetable? How do you cook your Brussels sprouts? Again, like I said, these are new for me. So it's a learning experience here. So for this recipe, I ended up using 12 ounces of Brussels sprouts, and then I chopped up three heads of broccoli, and then I used four cloves, finely minced of garlic. Here you'll see where I'm going to start chopping up the three heads of broccoli. Um, these were pre-washed and rinsed, so I just took them out of the cellophane wrapper. I cut the big stalks off of them. My children don't really care for the woody stalk ends, so I ended up cutting those off and then taking the good flowerette part off of it. That's what they love the best. So here you will notice that I do keep a bowl to the side so that I can just throw my scraps in there. It makes it much more convenient than running back and forth to the trash can. So you will notice that I do that quite often. It's just a handy tip. Okay, so after I finished the broccoli, I went ahead and started finely mincing my four cloves of garlic. Um, we do eat a lot of garlic in our family. We love it. I love raw garlic. My children aren't so much on the raw garlic, but they do enjoy it cooked. So a lot of our meals does have some trace of garlic in it, whether it be a little bit or a lot. <laughs> you let me know, does your family enjoy garlic? I know it's one of those things that you're either on one end or you're on the complete opposite of the end. So here you'll notice, like I said, I'm gonna finally mince these really good and then I'm gonna to start to mix the broccoli, the Brussels sprouts, the garlic all on a sheet pan and then I'm gonna to begin to season them.
Okay, so here I am. I'm going to begin putting my salt and pepper, seasoned salt, garlic powder, and rosemary leaves and sprinkle them all on top of my veggies. Once I get them all sprinkled on top, I'm going to drizzle it with the extra virgin olive oil. I ended up using one quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil and I'm just going to toss them around really good with my hands and make sure all the vegetables are really coated so that they all cook evenly. And then you'll notice um, I ended up cooking these on 350 for 25 minutes and they came out golden brown and tender. Do your guys' cookie sheets ended up being really dark brown, almost like they're seasoned well, and those are the ones that cook the best? I always find every time I go to buy a new cookie sheet, it sticks and sticks and sticks for the first couple times until it gets to be seasoned really good, and then it's the best cookie pan ever. Um, I think I've had this roasting pan, cooking pan, a cookie pan, some people call them either or, um, for a good five years now and it's the best pan ever. So here you'll see that I am just sprinkling the minced garlic all over the top of it before I start to zhuzh them around and get it all mixed together so they roast evenly and everything is well seasoned. Something about mixing fresh veggies all over a pan is very relaxing. Just again, remember to make sure you get everything coated and seasoned well so it all tastes well seasoned and you don't got extra spots that's really salty and some spots that are not. So I ended up cooking my roasted vegetables on 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. All right, so then I went ahead and start pat and dry my clean chicken. A good clean chicken, I find that the seasonings stick a lot better when your chicken is completely dry. So I do make sure to uh, pat it completely dry. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the bottom of my air fryer. Um, I am going to air fry this chicken. I'm gonna do 30 minutes on each side at 360. So I ended up flipping it a total of four times and it came out perfect, juicy. This is the first time I've ever done a whole chicken in the air fryer. Okay, so here I am, like I said, I'm gonna put the same seasonings on my roasted chicken as I did on my roasted veggies. They are rosemary, garlic powder, salt, pepper, a little bit of seasoning salt, and then I'm gonna drizzle the top with olive oil. My lovely kiddos in the background. They were so interested in what I was cooking for dinner. Remember I told you my kids love broccoli and Brussels sprouts. So they were excited for dinner tonight. Sometimes I use fresh herbs, sometimes I use dry. It's just all about convenience. A lot of times I don't really notice the difference between fresh and dry, unless it's something you are doing for like a garnish or you want the item to really stand out in your dish. So here I am putting my roasted chicken in the air fryer. You will see I hit air fry. I did correct it. It needs to be on the roast setting at 360 for 30 minutes each side. I flipped it after 30 minutes. So I ended up flipping it for a total of four times. This was almost a six pound chicken and it came out perfect, like I said. And so here is our final plate. We have our roasted veggies, our boxed scalloped potatoes, our roasted chicken, and some cucumbers sliced with a little bit of Himalayan pink salt and pepper. This was an amazing dinner. And here's my kiddo's plate. Turned out amazing. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.